So in this video we're going to go over the install of the 5th gen 4Runner front recovery point from Treaty Oak Off Road. Um, as you can see, I've already painted mine but this comes raw. The paint that I used on this was just a uh, Krylon base for uh, Troy built uh, red. In the kit that you get with these, you'll get two of these and you'll get the hardware kit. The first bolt you'll see is, has a little flange to it and the threads are much tighter. This is for the front point. You'll get an unflanged bolt which, uh, with a thicker thread, a lock washer, and then a flat washer. With these you'll want the lock washer towards the outside and the flat washer toward the inside. back of that piece you'll need to put in this floating bolt this rod will get bent and broken off when it does it'll look much more like this and the bolt will go in just like that so for these bolts you'll need a 17 millimeter socket and a 19 millimeter socket. You'll need a driver. You will need some kind of pry tool. On my driver side on my initial one I actually did it with a screwdriver and broke the plastic threw it away. So this will be the other point the other tool that you'll need for this. Okay obviously the first thing we want to do is get this off. This little piece of plastic here is actually your access point for the uh, frame nut into the back of it. Now, my vehicle already has 135,000 miles on it, so everything plastic, especially hard plastic on the outside, is going to be pretty brittle. You can see with this piece, there's a, two little clips, one on each side. If you can press those in, it should come out pretty easily. However, obviously mine did not. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to line thing, things up so we can see where everything bolts in. So this flange screw will go right here in the front. Good, good idea to go ahead and test it, make sure that it, it will screw in. This is just to ensure that, uh, that your threads are clear you'll be able to bolt this up later. Okay, easiest thing to do, since you already have the threads in the front, let's go ahead, line this up. You don't have to tighten it up, you just let it hang. But what this does is gives you plenty of room to look and see how this lines up. So we're gonna take our, our bar here that we've got and bend it. We're going to kind of measure it so that we can see where we need to bend and then kind of test it. So we're going to fish this in there. And we're going to make it so we can see the nut through there. Thick thread, no flange. Going to do our locking washer first, flat washer next. We're going to put it through the back here. And we're going to line it up so that it goes right in there. Use our thumb to hold that in place. Line up our, our nut. And if you have to re-bend the, the, the bar to get it to work for you, because this is a frame nut, it's got a ton of threads to it. 
so it's gonna take a while to get that thing. Man, Kyle, you uh, didn't want these coming off easy, did you? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video.